We're still counting down the days until America's total solar eclipse. And as people get ready for this celestial spectacle, the Federal Aviation Administra Administration, they're warning that the event could cause air travel trouble. I, I guess unless you're lucky enough to be on one of those planes that flies right along the path of totality. A Fox News multimedia reporter, Chelsea Torres, is at Philadelphia International Airport with the details. And I guess there are all kinds of reasons that could lead to flight delays and will include uh, astronomical events. Ian, it really could. It could be really a snowball effect, I guess you could say, um, of different things that could possibly pile up. But of course, we'll see on Monday. You know, most of the airports, though, in the line of totality, they tell me that it really will just be business as usual. They are warning passengers to make sure they get themselves extra time to catch their flights. But Ian, it's those control centers, the ones that are monitoring their planes. They're expecting more amount of air traffic on Monday itself. Now, the FAA warns that there might be higher traffic volume at airports along the path of the eclipse, and people should plan for the possibility of flight delays. These airports include San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and even Buffalo. And some airlines like Southwest and Delta are offering special flights for travelers to see the eclipse from the sky. Aside from commercial flights, FlightAware does tell me that Monday they expect even thousands of small private planes also trying to get a close-up view. People traveling ahead of the eclipse today say they are ready to deal with any big crowds. The one thing we are worried about is that there's going to be so much traffic on the roads. And so to drive a long way may, may be problematic. But we're, we're going to play it by ear. And we're also, also a little concerned about the weather, that it might be cloudy, in which case <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what we'll do. But <laughs> Okay, so get this. Hertz also says that if you're planning to rent a car ahead of this weekend for the eclipse, their advanced bookings are already nearly 3,000% more this time than they were around this weekend last year. Ian? Ah, uh, yeah. Volume is the issue. It's not because the moon is between the earth and the sun. It's because everyone is piling into that path of totality to see it. And that's going to lead to big numbers at the airports. Chelsea Torres, thank you.